happy mercedesing in this video i'm going to talk about the fuel pressure gauges for the k jetronic systems you can uh, measure fuel pressures separately but for the older k jetronic you absolutely need a special gauge with a shutoff valve So I bought one of those on eBay. Just to be clear, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for both gauges with my own money, each over 100 euros, which means I can be totally objective. The first gauge arrived in a nice case full of adapters not just for K and KE, but for other systems too, plus hoses and fittings. Sounds good, but nothing works. Everything leaks, literally everything. The gauge itself is, in one word, crap. I had to make my own adapters, modify the hoses, replace ceiling surfaces, Otherwise, fuel leaks everywhere. So, measuring pressures on the system here, one end here. Oh, there are leaks. The only good thing about this gauge is the big scale. Very easy to read, marked in 0.2 bar increments. The readability is actually excellent. So here is my rating, readability 10 out of 10, hose quality 1 out of 10, ceiling 1 out of 10, ease of connection 9 out of 10, and the final score is 5.25 out of 10. After that disappointment, I bought another gauge from TS Technik in Germany, again with my own money for 120 euros. This one is much better. And here is what you get in the kit. The main block for connecting the gauge, two valves, several hoses, screws with washers. One valve is a bleeder used after finishing a measurement. The other valve connects to the regulator line so you can shut off fuel supply when checking system pressure. Simple, practical and easy to use. If you have Volkswagen, Audi or Porsche, lucky you. They use banjo bolts that are included in the kit from Mercedes. Especially for V8 engines, you will spend more time connecting the upper chamber side of the fuel distributor. The return line of the warm-up regulator is easy. No issues. The only real complaint is the readability of the scale. It's accurate, stable, doesn't flicker, but it's hard to precisely see values like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 bar, or 4.6, 4.7, 4.8 bar. So here is my rating. Readability, 7 out of 10. Hose quality, 9 out of 10. Ceiling, 10 out of 10, ease of connection 6 out of 10, total 32 out of 40, and the final rating is 8 out of 10. Now, it's up to you to decide which gauge you want to use, but my honest advice, avoid these ones at all costs. 
give it a wide, wide berth. If you like these videos, then please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, comment, and see you in the next one. Happy Mercedes.